No, don't touch it. Eight mile long trail just outside of Chelsea, Michigan. This is the uh, DTE Energy Foundation Trail. DTE is the main power company in the Detroit area, Metro Detroit. <clears throat> they uh, gave a large sum of money, a grant, to build this trail. I believe it was like half a million dollars or a quarter million, something like that. This trail system is actually not complete yet. They, uh, they have three trails right now that are done. They're opening, whoa, there was a deer over there, jeez. They have three trails done, loops. They have one more that they're opening up just in a couple weeks. The first trail that they built was the green loop. It's about a five mile trail. It's a beginner. Woo! The second trail they built is called uh, Big came, the came loop, or Kame, some people call it that. I call it came. That trail is around about five miles also. And it, um, that trail is a, uh, that trail's intermediate. It has a couple of rock gardens, more jumps, Things like that. It's real fun. This trail I'm on right now is the wind loop. And the wind loop is eight miles long. It's the most recent one that they finished building. They finished it this last year. It is also intermediate has more climbs, it has more, I don't know if it really has more jumps, but it has bigger berms. So that's the wind loop. The loop that's opening up in a couple weeks is called Sugar Loop. I don't know how long it's supposed to be. 
I think it's somewhere around like five miles. It's not longer than when, but at least that's what I've heard. And I've heard it's gonna be real fun, even bigger berms, real bermy, some good climbing also in that loop. So I'm excited to hit that one here in a couple weeks. And then they have one more loop in the plans. Uh, forgot what that one's gonna be called at the moment, but I think it's gonna take a couple of years for them to build that one. So there you have it, that's the brief history from the way I understand it of the DTE Energy Foundation Trail. I actually, last year I volunteered and came out for a day to help them build the trail. That was my first experience of trail building and boy oh boy, that's some hard work right there. Those guys work really hard to make these trails look this good. Oh, big bump. This is one of the only places to actually bottom out on the trail. I learned that one the hard way. I hit that kind of hard last, or two times ago, and Grayson didn't like that. So I walked that one. That's the only spot I have to walk it here on the wind loop. There's a couple spots I have to walk it on the tame loop because the rocks are bigger. So I got this Tout Terrain single trailer about a month ago. Had a couple of issues with the original shock. I just swapped the shock out for a different run, for a different one, but I got this trailer because I wanted to take my son with me mountain biking <clears throat> and um, I'm really glad that I did because he for the most part enjoys it every so often and he gets kind of scared from some of the bumps and stuff but we have a good time it's fun my son's 20 months old Almost two, not quite there yet. Surprisingly, this trailer handles really well with it being a single wheel and having the air suspension. It absorbs a lot of the bumpiness. You do feel it on your seat post though, like when you're trying to like, you know, pedal hard and shift the bike back and forth, you kind of feel it tugging on you there. And you also just feel the additional weight, but what the heck, that's good for training, right? <laughs> Man, this thing hits berms like you wouldn't believe. It's like railing the berm. Bam! Oh, and that was going uphill. All that weight, man, just pushes you right into the berm. It really sucked to overshoot one, though. Haven't wrecked yet, knock on wood. But the trailer's really safe, so... If we were to wreck it, he's basically in like a roll cage. So my son would be fine. <sighs> Whee! We're almost there, Grayson. Woo! 
Woo, we made it. Thank you. 